And so everybody realize everybody represents the seven at a time. All right. Moving forward, uh, this this case that came down, it it may still I'm not sure exactly what happened or the actual language, but the court now says that each party needs each person each party needs representation or can pay their own. Mm -hmm. Now that's a good thing. It's a bad thing, mm -hmm. right? It's a good thing. It's a bad thing because. Uh, I think the court should have maybe have a discussion with the brokers in the industry. Are you talking about the one in the 90s or are we talking no, about the, the one, one today? Oh, the one today. It should be because, because this affects especially first-time buyers. Let, let, let me pause you right there and let me explain the actual change. Um, so we were talking about commissions and how it was mm -hmm. now, right? But in this implementation with this, like that court case that I explained, someone said, why am I paying Leroy? And this. So with this court case, they basically said to avoid the situation all around, the, the National Association of Realtors cl maintains their innocence. Mm -hmm. They say, we, and we concur that we have been trained that, that commissions are 100% negotiable, that the standards should have never been placed, that those realtors acted on their own they you, they violated our ethics mm -hmm. it's like the the national association of realtors almost like agrees that like yeah like the, yeah there should be no standard but that's we've been saying that they're the ones that did that not us so the national association of settled but they didn't admit guilt there you go. Um, so to kind of protect them in the future, they're, they are now claiming, they're now imp trying to implement new changes in the way we do listings in the way we act as realtors and the way commissions are kind of optionally and possibly set up in the future.